how to work a very simple, very stretchy bind off. I discovered this bind off a few months ago and I've been using it on everything. It's my new favorite thing. And it's kind of one of those things, because it's so simple, I have to wonder why didn't I figure this out years ago? Why have I not been using this bind off my whole life? Okay, I have some samples here. I'm gonna show you exactly how stretchy it is and then I'm going to show you how to work it. I will be demonstrating how to do this in two by two rib, but you can use this bind off really on any stitch and I will show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, this is a sample knit in two by two rib with a regular standard bind off. And I'm gonna start here and stretch. One, two, three, four, five. We have six inches in a regular um, standard bind off. This is a sample knit in two by two rib and I've bound off in pattern, meaning I knit the knits and purl the purls. And this usually gives you a little more stretch. It gave me a half inch more. I have six, six and a half. We got six inches of stretch on the standard bind off, six and a half on binding off in pattern. And here's the stretchy bind off that I'm going to show you. It does give us a little bit of flare. You see that's a little bit wider on top, but if this was like the brim of a hat or something, this would be fine and stretch out when the hat is on. Let's go ahead and see what we get for stretch on this. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got three more inches of stretch. <laughs> I, think, I think you're sold on this spined off, aren't you? Okay, so that was six, six and a half, and nine. Now you're dying to learn it. I'm dying to show you. Okay, here we are in two by two rib. And like I said, you're gonna knit the knits and purl the purls. Um, so even if you have you know, three by three rib, four by four rib, one by one rib, stock knit, whatever, this bind off can be used. Because my first two stitches are knit, I'm going to knit the first two stitches, and then I'm going to take the tip of my left needle and put it into the front of those stitches and wrap the back needle and pull it through. I've just knit those two through the back loop. Now my next stitch is a purl. I'll yarn, oh, yarn forward and purl. I'm gonna take the tip of my left needle, put it into the back of those two stitches, and purl those two together. You'll start to see a pattern here pretty soon. Next stitch is a purl. I'll purl it. Take the tip of my left needle, put it in the back of those two stitches, and purl them together. Okay. Now we start the pattern repeat over. Next stitch is a knit, so I knit, and then knit those two through the back loop. Next stitch is a knit, knit that stitch, and knit two together through the back loop. So every time I get two stitches on the needle, I'm going to want to either knit them together through the back loop or purl them together. Next stitch is a purl, yarn forward, purl, put my needle into the back of those two stitches and purl them together. Next stitch is a purl, purl, needle in the back of those stitches and purl them together. Next stitch is a knit, knit and KTBL. I'll write out these instructions for you as well. All I'm doing is knitting the knits, purling the purls. If I purl a stitch, I purl the two stitches on the right needle together. Purl, purl the two stitches on the right needle together. And if I knit a stitch, I knit the two stitches on the right needle through the back loop. And here, you'll see, wow, <laughs> that's great. I need to use a stretchier bind off to match this if I'm going to make a headband or something. I hope you are as excited as I am about this bind off being so easy and so stretchy. I hope you enjoy it. Good luck.